Chapter twenty two of Divine Healing by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. The Lord that healeth thee. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus fifteen twenty six. How often have we read these words without daring to take them for ourselves? and without expectation that the lord would fulfil them to us we have seen in them that the people of god ought to be exempt from the diseases inflicted upon the egyptians and we have believed that this promise applied only to the old testament and that we who live under the economy of the new testament cannot expect to be kept from or healed of sickness by the direct intervention of the lord as however we were obliged to recognize the superiority of the new covenant we have come in our ignorance to allege that sickness often brings great blessings and that consequently god had done well to withdraw what he had formerly promised and to be no longer for us what he was for israel the lord that healeth thee but in our day we see the church awakening and acknowledging her mistake she sees that it is under the new covenant that the lord jesus acquired the title of healer by all his miraculous healings she is beginning to see that in charging his church to preach the gospel to every creature he has promised to be with her alway even unto the end of the world matthew twenty eight twenty and as the proof of his presence his disciples should have the power to lay hands on the sick and they should be healed matthew sixteen fifteen to eighteen she sees moreover that in the days of pentecost the miraculous pouring out of the holy spirit was accompanied by miraculous healings which were evident proof of the blessings brought about by the power from on high acts three sixteen five twelve nine forty there is nothing in the bible to make her believe that the promise made to israel has since been retracted and she hears from the mouth of the apostle james this new promise the prayer of faith shall save or heal the sick james five fourteen she knows that at all times it has been unbelief which has limited or set bounds to the holy one of israel psalm seventy eight forty one and she asks herself if it is not unbelief which hinders in these days this manifestation of the power of god who can doubt it it is not god or his word which are to blame here it is our unbelief which prevents the miraculous power of the lord and which holds him back from healing as in past times let our faith awake let it recognize and adore in christ the all power of him who says i am the lord which healeth thee it is by the works of god that we can best understand what his word tells us the healings which again are responding to the prayer of faith confirm by gloriously illustrating the truth of his promise let us learn to see in the risen jesus the divine healer and let us receive him as such in order that i may recognize in jesus my justification my strength and my wisdom i must grasp by faith that he is really all this to me and equally when the bible tells me that jesus is the sovereign healer i must myself appropriate this truth and say yes lord it is thou who art my healer and why may i hold him as such it is because he gives himself to me that i am one plant with him romans six five french version and that inseparably united to him i thus possess his healing power it is because his love is pleased to load his beloved with his favours to communicate himself with all his heart to all who desire to receive him let us believe that he is ready to extend the treasure of blessing contained in the name the lord that healeth thee to all who know and who can trust in this divine name this is the treatment for the sick indicated by the law of his kingdom when i bring my sickness to the lord i do not depend on what i see on what i feel or what i think but on what he says even when everything appears contrary to the expected healing even if it should not take place at the time or in the way that i had thought i should receive it even when the symptoms seem only to be aggravated my faith strengthened by the very waiting should cling immovably to this word which has gone out of the mouth of god i am the lord that healeth thee 
God is ever seeking to make us true believers. Healing and health are of little value if they do not glorify God and serve to unite us more closely with Him. Thus, in the matter of healing, our faith must always be put to the proof. He who counts on the name of his God, who can hear Jesus saying to him, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou shouldest see the glory of God, John 11.40, will have the joy of receiving from God himself the healing of the body, and of seeing it take place in a manner worthy of God, and conformably to his promises. When we read these words, I am the Lord that healeth thee, let us not fear to answer eagerly, Yes, Lord, thou art the Lord that healeth me. End of chapter 22